it's me, Julie, and I'm in Las Vegas, and I got some makeup um, yesterday. This is the CoverGirl in LA serum primer, and this is the CoverGirl in LA face effect firming makeup, and this is a Wet n Wild Mega Last. I think it's vegan. It's cruelty free. And so, yesterday it was about 107 degrees, and I don't think I've ever been in weather that hot, and I also have, like, a painful cold sore. I've never had a cold sore before. I'm traveling with a cold sore. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to take the primer. It comes in a pump. I'm just going to put it under my hand. I'll just put it on my face so you can see. Um, okay, well... I guess, like, not that much comes out, but, hey, I didn't get any come out. Okay, I'll just do it on my hand first, a clean hand, so you can see. Oh, it comes out in, like, a white serum. It's supposed to be, um, with Olay Skin Benefits, and my skin needs some help. Oh, it looks nice, it feels nice, it's oil-free, so it should be really good for my oily skin. Wow, I only needed like a quarter of a pump and I already feel it. Wow, my face feels light and gentle, and it feels really good. Ooh, I want to put it all over. I've been using an NYC primer and a Flower Beauty primer, but I know CoverGirl is really good for my, um, type of skin because I'm really oily and prone to break out, acne prone, stuff like that. Oh, the serum primer feels really, really good. It's like soft. It feels really gentle. Oh, I should put some under my eye. So what I did before was I flossed, brushed my teeth with my recycled toothbrush and my Tom toothpaste. Uh, which is eco-friendly and cruelty-free and vegan, and I use my Trader Joe's face wash just to try to remove some excess oil buildup. Okay, that's what the primer looks like. It feels nice. It's like really gentle on my skin. It reminds me of good things. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my concealer. Oh, and I wash my face um, with some Neutrogena scrub travel size I got for free with another tube. So yeah, I just dab my concealer like this. I'm going to use my Eco Tools concealer brush. Oh, and then um, after I wash my face, I use my... Um, Elf oil blotting papers, which are cruelty free and vegan. So hopefully all the products I'm using in this video are vegan. I'm vegan, gluten free, cruelty free. So, so yeah, what I like to do is just go like that. My hotel room, I'm staying in the Golden Nugget, and um, the hotel room comes with like this makeup mirror. But it's like all the way at the end of the table and it has like a plug-in. So it's really nice to like do makeup and stuff. But I can't really pull it over here. Let me try and see if there's a plug. Oh, I found a plug. Alright, I can pull it on over here. Okay. So let me try to do it in the mirror. Okay. I didn't bring any makeup remover with me. So. I'm going to need a little more concealer. I didn't bring any makeup remover, so my Lash Blast waterproof. Um, I think I have. I have the orange one. It didn't come off all the way. So. Okay. 
I'm really excited about trying my new um, primer and foundation I got. I also um, am going to use a Physicians Formula Talc Free Paraben Free, um, I think it's vegan, um, translucent powder. I wore it yesterday over an NYC um, primer. Under my eyes is a little bit dark for the mascara, and I bad. So yeah, I'll just blot that out a bit. I'll just use my finger to finish up the rest. <laughs> Put my concealer brush back in there. Okay. All blended in. <laughs> yep. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl and Olay foundation. This is called Facelift Effect. Um, I got mine in light pale. This is what it looks like when you open it. I got this actually, no wait, I got this one, the prime, primer serum at um, uh, the Las Vegas Strip. Things were a little bit more expensive there. But yeah, I have some on here. So I'm just gonna put some on my nose. I guess I'll try about that much. And I'll, I'll use my Sonia Kashuk brush, just because I like to use up the hotel lotion while I'm here. I don't want to put up extra oils on my face. Yeah. Just dab it everywhere. Remember I tried some of this at the store on my arm? Wow, I already feel my skin tightening. I thought this would be a really nice makeup to wear out here in Las Vegas because it's really, really hot. Wow, it blots on really nicely. And it just would feel really, really good. I Wow, it feels really cool, and it feels like, it feels like, wow, I even feel like my body's being, like, lifted. This is cool. It has, like, um, not like a tingly sensation, but like a, um, wow, it has a nice matte finish. It has a, um, kind of a... Awaken look, not too much awaken, but mm, like an uplifting effect. It feels really nice. I feel like in my shoulders and my back. I've never felt anything like this before. It's like a magical foundation. It's supposed to be made with a layer. Um, I have an LA night cream. How it looks. Let me blend in a little bit more. Okay. I'll just use a little bit. That's what it looks like. And next I'm oh here's my brush. Next I'm gonna go in with my wait. 
Dad, you're burping while I'm making a video. You're gonna be on my video burping. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with my L um, eyelash curler. Yeah. So. You don't want to curl your eyelashes too close to your eyelash line just because it will totally lift your eyelid. That wouldn't be too good. Now I'm doing the other side with my e.l.f. eyelash curler. Let's see if you can see how it curled. Can you see? Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to put that back now. Next, I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Talc Free Translucent Powder. Um, I think it's vegan. I think it's squalene in here. It is olive oil. I can, like, I can, like, feel and taste the essence. Well, I can't like really feel it, but I can like smell the essence of olive oil like on my skin. I guess our skin can smell. My skin senses olive oil. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my um, e.l.f. powder brush. This is what the Physician's Formula powder looks like. And I'm just going to go in. Oh, I'm not wearing my necklace. I got this really cool necklace at Walmart. So I'm just going in like that. Just want to put this everywhere. I wore this yesterday in Las Vegas weather. I wore a hat, my CoverGirl lash blast mascara in the orange container, and my skin felt pretty good. I didn't really like have any complaints. Yesterday was my first time wearing this Physicians Formula. I remember at first it didn't look, it didn't seem like I was wearing much, but I kept on putting more on, and I noticed a nice coverage and a nice build up. So yeah, for this foundation, you just gotta build it up. It made my skin feel really good, like, after and during. Um, while I was wearing it, I felt like my skin was getting really healthy, and I didn't have an oil problem. This foundation, the Physician's Formula, is supposed to be really good for sensitive and acne-prone skin. And it's talc-free, paraben-free. And it was made in Canada. Oh, my e.l.f. and I mean my Eco Tools powder brush and this foundation feels really good on my skin. It's like delicate and gentle. So that's how it looks. Do the my forehead. So I've been eating really good vegan food out here. I flew out on Thursday. 
Bada, soy, green tea, frappuccino at Starbucks at the Oakland Airport. Had some of that. I was lucky I didn't um, get airplane sickness like I did last time, but this time I had brought my um, prescription anxiety medicine, so I did pretty good this time. <laughs> I enjoyed the airplane ride. I did my makeup on the airplane. I just didn't use a mirror. I used NYC primer, flower primer. <sighs> yeah, and um, like um, CoverGirl lip balm, CoverGirl smoocher, gloss, Maybelline eyebrow pencil, CoverGirl mascara. Now it's about it. So that's what it looks like. Let me fix a little here. The makeup I'm using is cruelty free and um, or Cover Girl, the company actually, they strive to end animal cruelty. Big companies that um, do um, some animal testing are supposed to share information with other companies to limit animal testing, and Cover Girl is one that shares information with other companies. So, in essence, they are striving to end animal cruelty. Um, I like the finish. Okay, so that's like concealer foundation. <laughs> hmm. My pores are still going through on here. Hmm. Oh well. I noticed that my pores needed some help, so I, um, got the primer and the foundation to hopefully help my pores and you know I thought the CoverGirl um, NLA um, primer and facelift foundation would just kind of you know like keep me in a good mood so I got it <laughs> I thought it couldn't go wrong with it okay so next I'm gonna go in with some powder um, blush and foundation I mean, not foundation, um, powder and bronze, no, powder, blush and bronzer, excuse me. So I'm going to go in with this elf, blush and bronzer. That looks like that. This is my second time wearing it. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm going to need to use my same vegan brush. Okay, so I'll go in with my bronzer first. I'm just going to do the three. I have some nice color from the foundation. So I'll just kind of put that all over my face because I don't want to look too pale. See the color change? Let me turn off the light, see what that is like. Oh, now it's dark. Okay, that adds a nice bronzy effect. I'm just putting the bronzer just to kind of look more like my natural skin color. Oh, and the product feels so good with the Deeper Change Powder Brush. Wow, it 
smells really, really good. It's like nice and gentle. The blush and bronzer and powder brush and my powder. They're called Dupree and probably vegan. CoverGirl um, products um, are more on the vegan side um, because they use vegetable and synthetic ingredients. Okay, I have a nice bronzy effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just kind of give my face some definition. So I'm going to do a contouring feature with the three. Forehead, cheeks, chin line, jaw line. Forehead, cheek, chin line. I like to get my um, my area right here on my cheek, the hollows of it, just to give my cheek some definition and to put my blush above that on my cheek area and the apples of my cheeks here. Yeah, I'm just taking Blush like that. If you want a sunburn effect, like if you're out here in Las Vegas or wherever, you just take for bronzer and you just, I mean, you take blush and you like go like that. And if you want a tan look, you take bronzer and you go like that. And if you want a little bit of both, you can just kind of take both. And there you go. Kind of like a suntan and a sunburn put together, like you really got some sun. Oh, I have to make the computer glitch off. It feels really good, nice and gentle on my skin. On the Flower Beauty Cosmetics, it says we never test on animals. That was what really got me to buy it, and it was flower in the title so I was really really interested because I love all natural things my favorite drugstore products are covergirl flower and physicians formula I like to stay on the cruelty free line cruelty free section okay so that's my blush and bronzer now I can just put my powder brush away. Hi, Daddy. Alrighty, time for mascara. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof Hydro Fudge Mascara. Hydro Fudge. I never noticed that on the thing before. Okay. Just gonna. What got me to buy this one was the wand. I really liked the look of the wand. That's what really got me to buy it. I noticed yesterday I curled my eyelashes and used this mascara. And I almost looked like I had fake eyelashes, but they looked kind of natural and I really liked it just the way it looked not like because they looked like fake eyelashes or anything but I just really liked it okay that's how it looks so yeah today is August 2nd daddy is the second right this is the second, right? It's the second? August 2nd? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do my bottom lashes. That's what it looks like. Hmm? I didn't bring any eyeshadow. I usually 
usually don't wear eyeshadow. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to check in here. I was so lucky I got a vegan bag. Oh, you can't see me. Sorry. I was so lucky I got a vegan bag and vegan shoes from the store. They were from a recycled store. A used clothing store, but they call it a recycled clothing store. I was quite glad I was able to get those cruelty free and eco friendly products. They're traveling essentials. Okay, so this is what the mascara looks like. This is a... Oh! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go in with my lip liner. This is the Cover Girl. Lip Perfection and Splendid, I believe. This is my first time having a cold sore. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line my lips like this. Finish it off. There it goes. Okay, that's what it looks like. Mm. I took pictures of my products, my makeup beauty products I got that are like health free and vegan and products that strive for animal cruelty. Um, that strive to animal cruelty on my, um, I took pictures on my camera. Um, so you can check that out if you want. Um, that'll be on my Facebook page, which has a link on my YouTube channel if you click on um, About or one of those columns in there. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this elf, this um, actually flower, this flower stick. It's in Petal Kiss LS2. What I really like out here is my um, CoverGirl Lip Balm Gloss in Coral Twist. It's really nourished my lips, as you can see. It just has really made my trip more pleasant. I like to put that on. So yesterday I wore some of this. So yesterday I wore some of this, and then I would just use the Petal Kiss, um, not the Petal Kiss, um, the uh, CoverGirl Lip Balm Gloss and Coral Twist, and it really helped my lips. Um, let's see, am I missing anything? Nope, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get my necklace to show you. Mirror fell. Okay, so I got these cool froggy earrings. They remind me of a vegan lifestyle and I like to live a vegan lifestyle. So I got those. And I was on the elevator and I noticed um, these, and someone gave me some. Um, um, beaded necklace because I said they looked really nice. <laughs> um, and then this is a necklace I got at Walmart. I just love it. It's like a layered necklace. 
it has like, well, it's kind of all jumbled up here, but the first layer, it has, the first layer, it has an elephant, and the second layer, it has like, a hand with an eye, and then the third layer is like this one, so that's pretty cool. I also brought my Trader Joe's um, deodorant, which is cruelty free and contains cotton. And so yeah, if you want to see all the products I brought with me and my vegan food journey through Las Vegas, you can check out my Facebook page and I'll try to make a video file of it on YouTube. And I want to show you my trusty hat. Oh yeah, I got this hat to wear. And I got these shoes. These vegan shoes. Mm -hmm. Like those. Could only wear them like a couple days though because I've already started to get blisters. So I have to switch to my brown ones I got from Halo Hatties, which I think are vegan. Um, so I'm here. Why don't I just do my hair too? So I like to do my here. Let me find my brush. Here's my wooden brush. Here's a wooden brush. Looks like that. It's from Earth Therapeutics. I didn't bring any like leave-in hair treatment. I've been using um L'Oreal, L'Oreal's dry oil hair repair serum, and it works really well. Let's see what this on glitching. Oh, and I also brought these hummingbird earrings I got from Kohl's for like two dollars. <laughs> So here in Las Vegas, it's pretty interesting. I noticed this one guy on the street by the hotel here, where by like Las Vegas casinos where like the strip is, Las Vegas um, casinos and shopping areas for like souvenirs and stuff. And there was this guy, he was like in this blue suit, it was like the strangest encounter I've ever had. He was wearing like this dark blue jumpsuit and he had the, um, like this white mask and I was like looking at him because I never saw like anything like that before and I just kept on walking and I was kind of like looking back because I like it was really like new to me and he started jumping out at me and I started kind of like screaming and I ran to my dad and he was like yeah they pay you to do that they, they want to get paid to do that, to have that in San Francisco, like the man that jumps out of the bush. He was like, that was like one of the scariest encounters on the street I've really ever had. And he was wearing like a mask and a, like a dark blue jumpsuit and he was like, the masked street man in Las Vegas like jumps out at people. Oh my god. So yeah, just brush your hair. Pull it back in a ponytail. It's really good to wear a hat out here in Las Vegas. It keeps your sun, the sun out of my head, out of my face. The Physician's Formula powder is really good for sun prevention also. And yeah. so the hummingbird earrings I mentioned, I wanted the animal shape earrings. So I got the frogs and the hummingbirds just to remind me of how animals can be like freely in nature and just so peaceful and they're just kind of their own creatures. They're not like humans and they're this kind of. Pearl's pearl, interesting. Little animal. 
animals and frogs, little animal frogs and birds and the what. So yeah, I'm gonna put it kind of low. And then I just braid it. Let me go look for my other hair tie. On the floor. For snacks, I brought um, Energy Mix Trail Mix um, from Stevia, and it's really, really good. It like really cleansed the palate when you need lots of nourishment for traveling. And then I brought some Enjoy Life um, chocolate and like sun chocolate bars and sun sun butter bars, sun seed butter bars. I think they're like quinoa and brown rice and brown rice syrup. They're gluten free and vegan, so those are really good. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just putting my hair back in a braid. I like to tuck it under like that. <laughs> Put my hat on. <laughs> Almost done. I just gotta put in my little frog earrings. I haven't worn my hummingbird earrings yet. I like my navy blue um, hat. I got it at Walmart for like two eighty eight. I noticed this pink and black one, but it was all like kind of dinged in the front. I don't want a dinged looking hat, so after I got it, I had to walk back and return it. So, yeah. I went on Wild Cow, a vegan um, worldwide webpage that lists all the vegan restaurants or vegan friendly restaurants. I think um, in the world, and I found some cool ones for Las Vegas. So yeah, I'm just trying to put in my earrings. Why isn't it going in? So for breakfast this morning, I think I'm going to try to get an acai bowl, but only if the granola is gluten-free because I'm really sensitive to wheat and gluten, and sometimes wheat contaminates the oat fields, so I don't want to risk a chance of eating wheat anytime, <laughs> especially while I'm traveling. So yeah, froggy earrings in, hat on, vegan cruelty free or cruelty friendly makeup on, and maybe those categories of big like covered off be like cruelty free caring makeup. Oh, my necklace is a little Okay, well, I'll just put it on and I'll fix it later. Oh, I took the bus out here for the first time yesterday. It was really fun. I got some rooibos tea, iced tea in the morning, and it didn't wake me up enough, so I had to go to Starbucks and get a huge cup. I wore this necklace in Las Vegas yesterday. It was a really nice necklace to wear. This necklace, I really like it. It really reminds me of like good, good things, like healthy food, good atmospheres. Um, 
it just really kind of puts me in a good mood. So do my animal shape earrings. They just really kind of comfort me. Oh man, what has happened to my necklace? Oh, that looks like an elephant thing. All right, done. Okay, let's see. All right, score, perfect 10, the best time in Las Vegas. I'm going to put my necklace on. Oh, I'm going to show you my um, vegan cruelty-free bag I got. It's really cool. It has, like, um, animal shapes and um, like fruit shapes and pears and birds and bunnies and um, there's buttons and mushrooms and flowers. It looks like that. Okay, well, that's about it. Maybe I'll paint my nails later tonight with my Mega Lack. Um, hopefully vegan. And right now it's cruelty free nail polish. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.